All right, so uh, this is going to be Capricorn Sun, uh, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading, March 23rd to uh, March 29th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description, the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So that being said, moving to the spread straight away. Now, the first one here is going to be the Five of Wands, which is the topic and the general theme of the, of the week, followed by the Moon card, which represents the energies that are feeding and surrounding the topic itself. That will be the Moon. Followed next uh, is going to be the Eight of Pentacles that represents the uh, challenges that you need to stand against and uh, hopefully overcome. Followed by the Ten of Cups and that is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. The fifth one is going to be the impression that you are going to leave into the people around. And the last one here that we do have is going to be the Page of Cups, which stands as the guidance that uh, Tarot is offering to you. So, um, okay. so let's, uh, let's have a look at the first couple of cards. And that is to be the moon and the five of wands. So the uh, energies and then we do have the topic. So energy wise, it looks like that throughout this week, you could be in a little bit of a... I don't want to sound kind of like negative, but more like a panic mode. Uh, in the sense of that uh, those energies are going to make you feel a bit um, uncertain and as well insecure of how the future is going to play out for you uh, in terms of relationship, maybe in terms of career as well. And that uh, will kind of like put you into a hyper mode. Okay, uh, That is what the situation displays here with the uh, five of wands. It is that you are to be on a many places trying to uh, seemingly stabilize as much as you can. Although at that particular point, nothing needs to be um, stabilized. Nonetheless, it does look like that uh, the week itself is going to be very dynamic for you. Uh, like I said, a hyper, hyper activity. Now, good thing about the week itself, it is that with those cards that we do have, many uh, things that you kind of like struggle fixing, they are going to start kind of like uh, resorting themselves uh, almost on their own accord or those who are not resolving on their own accord, they will start losing relevance at all in terms of uh, how your future is going to play out from now on. Uh, important thing to be acknowledged with these cards, it is that you should not abandon your original goal and as well your original uh, how can I say it, aim mm, for business or for relationship as well. Now, those energies are pointing here with the moon card. It is that while things right now are vague and uncertain, and you may feel as well insecure at that stage, that is because um, the outcome of whatever situation you are standing in front of is anybody's guess. And the fact that the moon card sits into the energy position it speaks that the answer is yet to be revealed to anybody because it's way too early once to make a uh, assessment it's not going to work out or is going to work out. So <clears throat> uh, situational wise here with the five of wands, uh, like said in previous reading, five of wands is exceptional card of reversing uh, of reversing situations from for, for example a project that it is failing you can reverse it into a, a successful project a relationship that it is uh, failing you can reverse it into a uh, a successful relationship so what i do suspect that is going to happen here with those two cards it is that whatever you have um almost accepted that is not going to work out bit by bit slowly but steadily will start worth your while once again you know it's kind of like a uh, a project that you have kind of scrapped and you thought that it's not going to work out is now starting to make more sense than ever okay a relationship that you decided uh, it is over now starts to be revitalized little by little but yet it has some hope you know to uh, to become 
functional once again moving forward into the future. Now, important thing, however, with the Five of Wands, it is to understand that those uh, turnarounds are happening suddenly. They are happening suddenly. And you need to have the awareness and readiness for action as well to get a grip upon the opportunity that comes by because it comes by only once. And if you miss it, it's not going to come back a uh, second time. And for that reason, uh, you Capricorns need to be on your guard. I mean, you, know, you got to be vigilant. You need to keep your eyes peeled for any kind of opening that you can use in order to improve your circumstances one way or another. Because with those energies, the circumstances, once again, they are going to, they seemingly are going to be chaotic, that they that doesn't make any sense. And maybe they don't make any sense on their own accord. But if you connect the dots, they will make more sense to you than ever. And uh, the challenges uh, that you will need to overcome here, it is uh, the uh, five of pen uh, the eight of pentacles, excuse me. And uh, Eight of Pentacles talks all about the challenge of manifesting, or how can I say it, initiating, let's say, a thing that took you a long time to plan or to, um, to prepare, you know, or in generally to figure out how to do it. Now, <clears throat> whatever actions you are planning to do throughout the week with the Eight of Pentacles, they need to be supported with a lot of conscientiousness, okay? And you need to have your eyes for the minor details because exactly from the minor details, it is where those opportunities are going to come by from. Um, in other words, you need to be able to read among the, uh, among the letters or in between the rows, in between the letters. I don't know how to say it in English, but pretty much seek for the hidden, I don't know, hidden hints or maybe a, a, a hidden clues out there because it is exactly what the situation is going to be all about. Now, Eight of Pentacles also may speak that you are going to struggle keeping up, you know, with the demands, especially if we're talking about business here, uh, that um, the demands for your services are going to increase and therefore you may keep you may once again a struggle to keep up with it and uh, more specifically for relationship eight of pentacles speaks about opening okay like to open yourself for the possibility to have a relationship that's in general and this is especially true for those who went through a recent really tough breakup okay and uh, you may need time to heal but with those cards the time for healing should be over okay because you are to have your turnarounds here throughout the week and you don't want to miss them guys and especially with the moon card that is just a confirmation here that whatever breakup you went through that is not the last relationship that you are to have in your life that is and uh, that makes us to move to the next one here which represents the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy and the ten of cups tells us only one thing as a gift and blessing that throughout this week your life <clears throat> either slow, slow, uh, either all of a sudden or slowly progressing is going to start worth its while or it's going to start worth living again. Now, Ten of Cups does point that you are going to enjoy, okay? You're going to enjoy and you're going to be very happy of how the things are unfolding for you. Now, that's one thing, but it is completely another to make use of it, okay? So you are to be insecure or uncertain how to make use of those circumstances, but nonetheless, you are going to be happy of how the circumstances are turning out. And I don't know if that's the best thing or the worst thing, but you alone will not be able to explain yourself why the, why the circumstances are arranging in a, such a way, okay? And uh, one more thing about the Ten of Cups here, it kind of speaks, especially in the gifts and the blessings, it kind of speaks for some unfo uh, unfound potential that you are slumbering within you because the Ten of Cups in that particular place, it does represent this part of the, or this trait, I would say, of the human nature that one, no matter what, how much one has, it always at some point in their life wants more. And from that particular standpoint, <clears throat> excuse me, Ten of Cups, it does speaks that you can go for more 
only if you you know if you identify that you need and that you want more in general but nonetheless um, once again ten of cups points that uh, you are gonna feel lovely throughout the week also a bit uncertain a bit vague and a bit insecure or oh, in one month more thing I forgot to mention here about the ten of cups uh, it is that um, you are going to be shielded from problems. It's simply that is going to be completely problem deprived week for you. That is from the gifts and the blessings of the Ten of Cups, because it does represent like a uh, a place of solace. OK, like a uh, like a, a safe heaven for the soul where the soul does not concern itself with the uh, material problems of the world. And so the next one, it is uh, what kind of impression are going to have the people for you? And uh, that is the true of sorts. So people are going to see you and they're going to they're going to find you in a very tough spot. What I mean is that they're going to think that you are in a very rough spot because for them, whatever you are standing against or whatever is in front of you that you are to uh, take participation into, for the people, it is like either a win-win situation or a lose-lose situation. So in other words, people will assess that there is no right or wrong move for you to do and everybody is going to feel tough into the situation that you are finding yourself at. However, uh, Two of Swords also, it kind of like gives us a bit of a, uh, a relief here because it does point that even if you don't know what to do at that particular week, if you have the luxury to store enough the situation or in other words not making any decision whatsoever the right decision for you is going to become obvious just by the way that the circumstances are arranging because that is about the moon card guys that the circumstances which are arranging are beyond not just your control but anybody's control and they are arranging in a way that they are um, uh, or they are arranging in the right way for the universe, if you will. And um, only those who are patient enough will see the truth that it is hidden behind the veil or the darkness that the moon uh, is given. So once again, if you are baffled of what to do, just wait and the right decision is going to become obvious for you. And um, the last one that we do have, it is the guidance that Tower is offering and we do have the Page of Cups. So Page of Cups, it's a sign that a major change is looming on the horizon. And I waited for that card to tell you this because I didn't want it to blow it up into the Moon card. But in the Moon card, we can see here that you are walking on a path, right? Here with the Moon that goes beyond the summit. So we don't know how the whole thing is going to unfold. The only thing that we do know is that you are on the right track and definitely the end of the road is going to be different from the start of the road where you are right now. So therefore, there is a change that is looming on the horizon. However, the page here tells us it is that you are to be forewarned enough to make the necessary readaptations. You have to stop concerning yourself with the small and irritating uh, obstacles that you may face along the way, but instead you need to be more attentive to the overview of the situation, okay? And that will allow you to make a crucial and critical self-assessment that will help you reposition yourself in a such a way that you will be able to make the most out of the change that is looming on the horizon. Not to mention here is that the page urges you to connect emotionally. So, and, and that is how you are going to manifest the gifts and the blessings, like said with the Ten of Cups, that you are going to feel lovely. So aim to spend as much time as you can doing what you love to do and as much time as you can with the person that you love. Okay. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading, March 23rd to March 29th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can uh, purchase a reading of your choice. And depending on your choice, um, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours upon purchase to tell you how your reading is going to take place. So stay safe now, guys, and uh, see you next time. Until then, bye.